really important to fully accept someone as they are. Although if you don't, then you can't, you can't really accurately relate to them mm. or even uh, determine, um, when I say fully, I mean, you know, as fully as you can. Uh, you can't determine whether or not you like them or not, really, mm. unless you can accept them for who they are. Doesn't mean, so when you accept someone for who they are, it doesn't necessarily mean you put up with who they are. But denying, you know, not accepting someone for who they are in a certain way, you know, by, I'm playing with words a little bit, yeah. and I'm trying to sort of create two different things rather than out of something that is sometimes one. So when I, accepting someone how they are does, uh, can mean being okay with that person as they are in relationship to you and not leaving them or something like that. It can mean that. But we can make it more refined and we can say that we can accept someone as they are, being willing, in other words, to see them. And then accepting that that's how they are and then making the decision on an ongoing basis whether you want to be with that person or not. You know, given that this person is like that. Because sometimes we don't accept someone as they are and we, and we uh, sort of live with this dual relationship with who they are and who we'd like them to be. You know, this Michaelis uh, says that a lot. Like dating a fix me up. You know, fix her up, isn't it? Yeah, fix her up. You know, it's good value. It's cheap. Not as many people interested. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, with a little bit of work, she could be, you know, fix her up. Something like that, you know. But at a certain level. But it's not as easy with people as this with like, you know, mm. condos and cities. <laughs> <laughs> But more things, I think, to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that you said that, well, you can't date potential, right? You can't date potential. Well, I mean, you, of course, always want more, I mean, and deeper and all of that. That's a different story, but fundamentally, you have to be okay with who somebody is. That doesn't mean you have to be with everything they do. Like, for instance... Um, I don't know, you're dating a woman, you really like her, you like who she is in general, you know, with a few, I mean, nobody's perfect. But, you, you know, she, let's say she works for a bank, you know, and she wants to progress in the bank, uh, but somehow you think money is evil and she shouldn't be working for a bank or so, well, that's an actual issue. Because unless this is just some casual job for her that she could do this one or that one. But if she has a career you don't like, that's an actual issue, right? But like, for instance, if she, I don't know, doesn't wash her hair often enough because she's not aware of the fact that her scalp smells after three days. You'd be surprised what people get, you know, or, or, or she eats in a way that you don't like or something. Those are things you can address for her sake, right? Not for your sake, but for her sake, because you're not the only one who's smelling the scalp or listening to her uh, eat with an open mouth, right? You go to a restaurant, everybody else is kind of like, all right, lady, where were you raised, right? Yeah. So <laughs> those, are things, those are things that can be addressed, where you can go, I don't know if you're aware of the fact that you open your mouth when you're eating and your food spills out while you're talking to people while you're eating, right? If she goes, yeah, I'm fully aware of that and that's who I am, well, then you have to deal with can you stomach it or not. Mm -hmm. But if it's just a matter of a bit of refinement here or there, that's perfectly okay. And supporting somebody in... Uh, going for the job that they want to is perfectly okay. Um, but, you know, things like looks, uh, career, things around children, religion, political ideology, you don't want to fuck with that. But you have to assume that because somebody wants to change does not necessarily mean they will change, as we all know. <laughs> right? Because how, how long does it take you to change a habit? Right. So if it takes her as long as it takes you to change a habit, that might be a long time. And can you live with her the way she is now till she's changed? Right? If she, of course, everybody changes in relationship, particularly if you engage in long-term relationships. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's startling you know, how much people change. And it, it's always a matter of, are you changing in, in ways that are agreeable? 
which might be, or um, sometimes it becomes not agreeable, and then you have what they call so lovely in divorce court, irreconcilable differences. <laughs> you know? uh -huh. yeah. so.